Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Estefania and today we will be stuffing my March paycheck number four. Today we will be stuffing a total amount of $280. And yeah, I did go ahead and already filled out my budget sheets for my cash envelopes. So yeah, let's get started. And if you didn't watch my last video, I stuffed my stimulus check, so these envelopes have some money in it already. Alright, so for spending this week, I decided to give myself $40. So I'm, I'm going to get a 20, sorry, 20 and two 10s. So 20, 30, 40. I do get paid weekly, so expect weekly videos. So, yeah. For gas, today we will be giving $25. 20 and a 5. So, 20 and a 5. Since this is my like first paycheck stuffing, I don't have any like rollover money. So, I'm hoping for my next video I will. And I will explain on that video what I'm going to do with my rollover money. So if you want, feel free to subscribe to my channel. All right, for coffee, we will not be stuffing it today since I already did spend my coffee budget for the week. For bills, we will not be stuffing anything for bills. For self-care, these budget sheets are out of order. My apologies. All right. For self-care, we're giving ourselves $75, which should give us a grand total of $145, which is just a 50, 20, and a 5. I'm actually planning on using my money in the envelope since I am getting my nails done on Friday, so I'm excited about that. So let's count it. So we have 50, 100, 120. Ooh, let me count that one more time. Sorry, guys. 50, 100, 120, 140, and 145. All right. For car modifications, I will not be stuffing anything this week because I am kind of happy that we have $300 in this envelope. And at the moment, since I did get paid a lower amount than I expected, this is not one of my priorities this week. So I'm hoping for my first paycheck of April, I will continue stuffing this envelope. So yeah. For travel, I decided to give myself $20, which should give us a total of $470. And that's just gonna be a $20 bill. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, four twenty, four forty, four sixty, and four seventy. So we have four seventy for travel. This may be my favorite envelope. I really want to go on a huge trip after this whole thing when we are able to travel. So I'm very excited about that. For car maintenance, this week I'm giving myself $10, which should give us a total of $60. I'm just going to be using a $10 bill. Alright, for my savings, I'm giving myself $50, which should give us a total of $800. All right, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 770, 
800. I will be needing a one case flip, so that's pretty exciting. I'm considering buying it on Amazon since I think I saw it for $10 for like 100 pieces. So that's a good deal. All right, for my gifts, I will be stuffing $50, which should be giving us a total amount of $150. I'll be using my last $50 bill. So we have 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 145, and 150. So we do have a $10 bill. And I explained in my last video that I'm forgetting one envelope. And it's my move out envelope. And for right now, I decided to stuff the money in this little pocket that I have in my binder. So I should have $90 already stuffed. Let's add the $10 bill. All right, let's count it. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So we have $100 for move out, which I'm hoping will cover moving expenses. And I'm not planning on moving out for a couple years, so I'm glad I'm starting to save up for it. And you can see that there's a bit of money in my other pockets. This is for a weekend trip that I have planned. And this covers my hotel expenses. I decided not to stuff in my travel one, travel envelope, since I will be using it in the next week. And it wouldn't make any sense since I'm about to spend it. So yeah, I will be leaving the link to the Etsy shop where I got my binder and envelopes down in the description box. Alright, so that's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.